Well, the elections are finally over, both uh, in the United States and in Canada. I guess all of us can get back to living life finally. But you know, I got to admit to a certain sense of tragedy that's plaguing me with McCain's loss. That man was a devoted citizen, a true American hero who went above and beyond the call of duty while he served overseas, and then he returned home to become a maverick politician. Uh, that man loved his country, and it broke my heart to see him fall short in that final hour. But you know, maybe he'll take advantage of it to finally learn how to rest on his laurels, because Lord knows the man deserves it. But, you know, I'd be feeling exactly the same way if it had been the other way around, if Obama had lost. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't agree with that man's policies, but I believe in the man. Uh, he's sincere, he's a great orator, and the past two years have shown you what kind of leader he is. The tragedy of this whole election is that we had two great leaders going up against one another. And despite some of the mudsling that happened over the past six months, both of them, when you get right down to it, were genuine and honest people. But, you know what, maybe that's a sign of things to come. Maybe the political world is changing, you know, and maybe we're finally in the post-racial era. I sure as hell hope so. America, you guys have a country to be damn proud of. But optimism aside, the economy's still in crisis. We got two wars going on. And there was so much hype about Obama that he's never going to be able to live up to. I don't know what Oprah was thinking, calling him the anointed one. Because, you know, right now, the media still seems to have this infatuation with him. But that is not going to last much longer. There, there's no such thing as a liberal bias or a conservative bias, the media. It's just the media. And you give it two months, and the, the merchants of chaos are going to be back with new horror stories. They're going to be telling you to give up all hope, that the economy's crashing, your president's lying to you, terrorists are on the borders, and that everything's going to fall apart. Whatever you do, don't believe these bastards. Now, I ain't saying things aren't going to be rough for a while. We're going to need to tighten our belts and buckle down. But you know what? America and Canada, these are the two greatest countries in the fucking world. And we're going to see it through. We've got the resources. We've got an educated populace. And we've got a hard-working populace. And after that election, we've got a population that has felt hope. Things are going to be tight. But don't believe the bastards in the media that tell you everything's going to fall apart because it ain't. Keep the faith, brothers. Arini out.